This work focuses primarily on the representations of families in horror films. Invasion of the Body Snatcher does a great job of exposing our fears to see what would happen if our families were replaced with alien-like beings. In the film Freaks, however, we see a full family represented. A horrific one of that. A family of freaks. In this scene, they are trying to initiate Cleopatra into their clan by having her sip through the wine that they all sip out of. In a sheer form of disrespect, Cleopatra tosses the wine back into the face of the little guy, saying her clear disregard and discontent with wanting to be part of the group. Though she seems superior in the scene by disrespecting them, we can see that they clearly cast their revenge on her. Showing that once and for all that in the end, the horrific family stands together and stands tall, and are not to be disrespected. In the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we see a more extreme example of this horrific family. A family of people who show no regard for human life and prey savagely on innocent foes. This film, along with Psycho and the representation of Norman Bates and the relationship he has with his mother, which is in turn his family, represent how horror films attempt to create an uncanny sense of an untraditional family. A horrific family attempting to live their lives as though they were traditional, as if they were doing nothing wrong, as they are just as normal as us. This to us is scary. A complete opposite way that the family is used to represent horror in these films is the destruction of the traditional family model. As we can see in The Exorcist, once a girl becomes possessed with the devil, the family starts to fall in shambles. She hits her uncles and the people who come to visit and starts fighting physically with her mom after being shown as a loving and caring daughter. Also more recently in the film Antichrist, we can see how the action of the film starts to happen after the family is destroyed by the death of her son jumping off the ledge.